Hello and welcome to Super Great Kids Stories, wise tales from around the world, which will make you laugh and sometimes cry. Recommended for ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. Hello Super Great Kids and how are you? I hope you're all happy and tickety-boo. I'm happy because Toop has recorded another Anansi the Spider trickster tale for you. I like trickster tales because they're quite often funny and this one has a song in it too. I wonder if you have a favourite Super Great Kids song. Do you like Orange tree grow and grow and grow? Or do you like... Coke yo ko o samba, now I dance, now I dance. Or do you like dust and shine, dust and shine, clean the room, oh dust and shine, from Mrs Rabbit and the Fox. Can you have a little think about which is your favourite super great kids song while we have a quick word with the grown-ups? Hello super great kids, did you decide on your favourite story song? Do you find, like me, that a song sometimes gets stuck in your head and you find yourself singing it over and over again? Like your teacher says, Ruby, what's five plus five? And you say, ah, uh, dust and shine, dust and shine, clean the room, oh, dust and shine. Anyway, are you ready for Toopy Toop Toop to tell us another Anansi tale? And Nancy, as you may well know by now, originates in West Africa. So let's start this story with the way that they start a story in Hausa, which is one of the languages spoken in West Africa. I say, Gatanan Gatanan Ku, which means, here it is, here it is. And you say, Tajo Majita, which means, let it come, let it come. So let's have a little practice. I say gatanan gatanan ku and you say tajo majita. Okay, you ready? Gatanan gatanan ku. Tajo majita. Very good. Here's Toop. Welcome, welcome, welcome each and every one, to Super Great Kids Stories. I would like to share with you all an Anansi story. Anansi is half man and half spider as he chooses. He's the original Spider-Man. There are many stories about Anansi, and here is one of those. One day... And Nancy, who is a trickster, heard that the king was holding a competition to see who could drink hot peppered soup. Hot, spicy hot, with so many red peppers and hot in temperature. Hot enough to burn any mouth. Whoever could drink all of the hot peppered soup would win a shanty gold. Many people came from far and wide to try to drink the hot pepper soup and win the treasure. Crocodile came. Crocodile thought that he could win the competition. So he came to the banquet hall. Crocodile asked, are there any rules? Yes, they said, Crocodile, you cannot blow out if it's too hot. You cannot blow in if it's too hot. Crocodile, you must continue to eat and drink this hot pepper soup until the bowl is empty. 
Do you understand, Crocodile? Crocodile was thinking, yes, no problem. Crocodile put the spoon inside the hot pepper soup calabash bowl. Put that spoon into his mouth. Crocodile could feel his tongue burning. It was too much and Crocodile blew out. Shh. Ah, they said, Crocodile, you lose, you blew out, Crocodile. Another creature came. It was the silverback. The silverback, strong and bold, the gorilla. The gorilla said, I can drink hot pepper soup and win the treasure. The gorilla put the spoon into the calabash bowl. The spoon went into the gorilla's mouth and that hot pepper soup was like drinking lava. It was so, so hot that the mouth of the gorilla was burning and before you knew it, the gorilla drew in air. Ah, gorilla, you lose. And from that day, the inside of a gorilla's mouth is red. Well, Anansi, he heard of the competition. And Nancy said, I will enter the competition and win the money. And Nancy went to the banqueting hall and entered into the competition. Ah, said Nancy, I have come to see if I can win the treasure. Oh, they said Nancy, no problem. But you know, you cannot blow out. And... You cannot stop drinking that hot pepper soup until the calabash bowl is empty. Do you understand, Anansi? Anansi said yes. But can you sing, said Anansi. Oh, there was a discussion whether or not anyone was allowed to sing while they drank their hot pepper soup. They asked the king. The king said, I see no problem in someone singing if they wish and they enjoy the hot pepper soup. So they told Anansi, it was no problem you could sing. Oh, said Anansi, no problem. Nancy put the spoon into the calabash bowl. Nancy placed the spoon into his mouth and that hot pepper soup. It burnt his tongue. It burnt the inside of his mouth. It was as if he had put some cactus spikes into his mouth and now they prickled the roof of his mouth and his tongue. But Anansi sang. The king liked the soup. The queen liked the soup. My wife liked the soup. My children liked the soup. Anansi liked the soup. Anansi liked the soup. Anansi liked the soup. Anansi liked the soup. Oh, said Anansi, I got to sing. This soup is so hot, so tasty, such flavor. I got to sing. The king liked the soup. The queen liked the soup. My wife liked the soup. The children liked the soup. Anansi liked the soup. Anansi liked the soup. Anansi liked the soup. Anansi liked the soup. Ah, said Anansi, the soup is so nice. I tell you, if my wife could eat some of this soup, she would be happy. Can I continue singing? And by this time, everyone was enjoying Anansi's song. Uh, a king likes the soup. The queen likes the soup. My wife likes the soup. My children like the soup. Anansi likes the soup. Anansi likes the soup. Anansi likes the soup. Anansi likes the soup. Even though the soup was burning Anansi's tongue by singing and drawing in air through his teeth, he was able to cool the inside of his mouth down. And no one knew of his trick. And Nancy was very happy. He looked into the calabash bowl and he could see it was just the last mouthful on the spoon. 
And Nancy put the spoon into his mouth and sang. The king likes the soup, the queen likes the soup, my wife likes the soup, my children like the soup, and Nancy likes 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 the soup. Ah, said Nancy, finally, the calabash bowl was empty. And Nancy sat there, eyes red, sweat pouring from his forehead. He was so, so hot from eating that hot peppered soup. But Nancy had done it, and he had won all the treasure that the king had to offer. And with that, and Nancy left the kingdom, walking and singing and scuttling along as a spider. The king likes the soup, the queen likes the soup, my wife likes the soup, my children like the soup, and Nancy likes 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 the soup. <sighs> Thanks very much to Toop for that story. And thanks to all of you for listening, especially to all of our listeners in Edmonton in Canada. I wonder what Anansi will do with that treasure. What would you do if you won lots of Ashanti gold? Would you buy something? Or would you turn it into jewellery and give it to someone as a Valentine's Day present? Or would you take it to a museum so lots of other people could enjoy looking at it? Now... Lots of you have been inspiring us with your reviews and pictures. So, it's time to dig into our bag of happies and say some thank yous. Thanks to Thaj from Nairobi in Kenya. He's drawn a picture of a story owl with yellow eyes. I like the red all around your owl, which makes me think of the red earth in parts of Kenya, Thaj. Very imaginative. Thank you. What a marvellous picture of Fjör Ishka and the magic water, drawn by Super Great Kids Stories fan Victoria. Very well observed details, Victoria. I like the moon with the crater holes and the bright stars and the golden jug which is encrusted with jewels. Thanks for sharing this. It's just magical. And Rory, who is six from Dublin, drew a magnificent smiley lion listening to a talking pumpkin from the Stick Woman story. And Rory's sister, Tara, who is four, drew the Stick Woman surrounded by lots of animals in the woods and confidently holding out her big walking stick. Thanks to both of you for your pictures. And Bianca, who is eight, from Santa Cruz in California, drew a bright and beautiful picture of one of my favourite stories, Nguenya and the Crocodile. Bianca's drawn the birthday cake and the crocodile and Nguenya all under a hot sun, showing that we're in sunny Zimbabwe in southern Africa. Thank you, Bianca. It's super great. And Ellis, who is five from Toronto, drew a really fun picture inspired by Tiddling the Thirsty Frog story. Great picture, Ellis. I particularly like all the little animals who are trying to make Tiddling laugh like the long electric eel and the tiny little puddle of water that's left behind. Really good drawing, Ellis. Great writing, too. And we have a lovely picture of the three little pigs sent in by Ibrahim, who is five. Ibrahim, I really like the way you've drawn the three little piggies' houses and shown that they're made from sticks and bricks and straw and the way you've written bang, bang as the wolf knocks on the door. Very clever. Thanks, too, for your recorded message. Really lovely to hear from you. And Henry also wrote to say that he really likes the Three Little Pigs story, too. Thank you, Henry. And George Henry, who is four, sent a brilliant picture of the how and why story, how the snakes got their poison. I really like the gifts of the bow and arrow and the rattle for the snake king and the way one of your snakes is slithering down the pitcher and it has red and green on its tail, which makes it look very poisonous indeed. Thanks so much for sharing this. I can see you've been listening very carefully to the story. 
and Ember, who is seven, and Lyra, who is four, from Westcliff-on-Sea in Essex, have been busy drawing. Lyra, I love your picture of the blue lizard from the Blue Lizard Girl story. A marvellous lizard you've drawn there. I particularly like the feet and the detail of the brown stripe down its back. And Ember has drawn Nora from Nora and the Aki Fruit. Nora is cleverly drawn below her sister Angel and Nora is stuck down in the river and she's saying, remember this? I'm not giving the river one of my Aki's. Ha! Huh. Thank you. More thanks coming next week. I've been posting your pictures on our Facebook page. If you'd like to see them, go to facebook.com forward slash supergreatkidsstories. I'm sorry if yours isn't up there yet. We've had so many of you send in pictures, which is really great, but it will take a little longer than usual to get all of them posted. And thanks to those of you who've been supporting us on Apple Podcasts and on Ko-fi and to our Patreon subscribers. Anna, Jacob, David, Emma, Elizabeth and Nicole. And to Thej in Nairobi and Eve in Miami for your Kofi donations. We rely on your donations and subscriptions to keep producing Super Great Kids stories and to help pay our storytellers. If you'd like to support us, you can give a one-off payment on ko-fi.com forward slash Super Great Kids stories. Or you can subscribe on Patreon, which you'll find on our website at supergreatkidsstories.com or on Apple Podcasts. We've had some very kind reviews too. So thanks to Lenzo in the US and to Fit Mama in Canada and to Cusco in the US, who is nearly eight. Thank you all. I love reading your reviews. It's a bit like a surprise hot chocolate. That's it for this week. Bye for now. Thanks again for all your pictures and messages.